Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for a process video today. I'm taking part in 30 Days of Sketches by Christie's Beautiful Life Series 9. There is a Facebook group that you can go to. There's also a hashtag 30DSCBL9 um, on Instagram um, and you know other places so that's where to find it. Um, it's uh, Today is day 9 and it's a sketch with circle, sort of circles and um, you know there's going to be sort of many interesting ways that people um, choose how to interpret that on their layout um, yeah so I'm looking forward to uh, getting on with that so what I've done is <clears throat> for my circles part of my circles I've punched out my photos with a 7.6 centimeter punch this giant one it's by Fco had it a long time I'm not sure where it came from so that's the start and um, it's also kind of a collaboration with Dotty about flair and there are prompts every day and for this one today nine is um sewing sewing is not my strong point i mean i do cross stitch but i don't do sewing on scrapbook layouts generally definitely not machine sewing i have done it previously but it's not something i enjoy i don't mind a little bit of hand sewing so i may do a little bit of hand sewing to, to you know join in with the prompt on the sketch it looks as though the sewing is across here but I'm not I don't think I'm going to do that I think I might do it somewhere else and it won't be anything um, too complicated it'll be quite a simple stitching so I've got my basil textured cardstock in Java and a white textured cardstock on, on the top of that and then I've picked out a few bits from Vicky Boot and Fernwood here I've got some dotty about flare pieces. I've got a, a title here with my American Craft stickers. I've got some washi tape, Spiegel Mom scrap sequins, some little glitter domes here, and some heart shapes. On the sketch, um, it's uh, it's stars, but you know, as with any scrapbooking, you can interpret anything any way you wish. So I'm using hearts today. So what I might do is, because it's kind of quite a, the um, there's three circles. I'd quite like to get them, you know, quite nicely spaced. And also I'm intending on doing sequins for my um, outlining. Uh, so I need a kind of a, a decent gap between them because uh, it's quite fiddly as well. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with that, but I'm going to try. Um, my lovely friend Moira O'Reilly and also Scrappy Cathy and Adam, they're, they're just magicians with sequins. They just use them in such um, imaginative ways. And uh, yeah, they're just amazing with them. I'm doing it a simple way today. But I shall try a little bit harder in future. Oh, sorry about that. I had to pause there. I've got a tickle in my throat. I'm suffering with allergies at the moment. So I'm hoping to um, be able to get through this today without, uh, you know, uh, coughing too much. Which I'll obviously try not to do on the camera but if I do need to pause the video I will right I think I think that's probably about right I might oh should I move it over a little bit more actually that's not straight because the, that's that's the wall there at the back of him these three photos are just of Chester um sleeping I think that's okay. It doesn't have to be exact, obviously, but I'd like it to be, uh, you know, quite, look quite straight. So I'm using this high tech glue today. And what I think I'm going to do first is I think I'm going to try and do these sequins. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. I thought what I might do is do the majority in this mix, which is uh, Spiegel Mom Scraps Maze Days. And then I might add a little pop of um, maybe red from this pack, which is red light, green light. Just because he's on a red blanket in two of the photos. And I'm keeping the layout mostly kind of brown shades because, um, you know, Chester's brown and quite a lot of brown in the photos as well. So let's have a go shall we it's it's a very on the sketch it's kind of a doodle it's very doodled so um yeah there's no requirement whatsoever for it to be uh, straight like a, a nice defined circle 
Now then, I really don't know how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to sprinkle then. And what I probably should have done was um, probably do the other circles as well and do it all at the same time. Now there is, obviously this is going to have to dry. I've only got one pack of these. It looks as I'm using them all on this little section here. So I think I might just go for it, spread them and then tip them and uh, try and retrieve the loose ones. <laughs> Oh dear, I think they might go everywhere. Let's have a look, shall we? I don't want to tap it too hard because, you know, I want them to, as many to stick as, as possible because that's the idea. But I do actually need enough to do the other two circles. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've actually got enough now. I know what I might do. I think what I'll do is I'll do this one next. And then if I look as though I haven't got enough, I might have to do... Um, I've got some more in the packet actually I might have to do this one yeah with different ones I haven't actually got many though packets I mean I've only got uh, a couple of packets and most of them are kind of the Christmas ones and, uh, I think I think we'll be okay I'm hoping we'll be okay <laughs> yeah there's more in here Don't, what I don't want is to have like all the small ones in one place and bunched up big ones in another in one place. I'd like a nice mix. So let's try and retrieve those. Oh. I might have to have more of the red than I intended on the other one. Oops. This is a really messy and not a very good way of doing it, but uh, yeah, I'm not particularly experienced with using sequins. Next time I might use a tray or something. But uh, as long as I get them on there and they get stuck down, that's fine. Sorry about them to watch this. They're quite well stuck, actually. They're not falling off, so... Right, now then, these are going to... Uh, yeah, I had intended to do three separate circles, but I'm not sure that's going to work now. I might have to uh, just go like this. Oh, we'll, we'll try and see what happens. We'll have to just ming intermingle them, I think. Now then, if I am going to add one or two of the red ones, I do need to leave a gap for that then, I? Or at least remember to do that now. Um, even though it's on the red blanket in the other two photos, I think I'll just put the red ones here because uh, just in the centre. I quite like the idea of putting them in the centre of the... Uh... Yeah, I'm only doing a few. That, that might even be enough, actually. Let's see how we can get on with the rest of what we've got in here. In the packet. Not many. Just what's here now. Fill those gaps there. I think we might be okay. Ooh, one of the light coloured ones has gone on top of the red one. It won't be glued though, so it'll fall off. Right. I could have done this off camera, but uh, I thought I'd make you watch it. <laughs> I, I, I actually didn't think too much about it beforehand. So I just knew that I kind of wanted to have this three circles of sequins. So <laughs> There's some blobs of glue there, look. Yep, I think we are using a whole packet, so uh, in honour of my friend Moira and Adam and Kathy, who quite often use uh, whole packets of sequins and uh, get them on the layout, that's what I say. They're no good sitting in the packet, are they? Not being used. Quite a few coming off there now. I've got quite a few left, I think. It looks as though I didn't have many, but obviously not all of the ones that I placed on there we're sticking so I've got quite a lot left. Oops, <laughs> I think we'll pop one over that blob of glue there. There seems to be a blob of glue there. Right, it's quite light here. There's not much of the yellow is there here. I think I'll pop it just, I normally like to do it as they fall but I think because there's not a lot of that yellow there and there is on the others I'll pop that one. Actually might put one there as well and pop coloured one there. Oh, that one's flicked off. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll 
I'll leave that for now and let that dry. And if later on I want to uh, do something different or add some more, then I'll, I'll do that once everything's dry. So, right, just move those out of the way for now. This vine over there, they're not going to uh, get knocked or anything. So, we can carry on with the rest of uh, the uh, planning of the layout. So I'll, I'll just pop that lid back on there. Now then, I've picked up these pieces from Fernwood. I've got the title here, which on the actual sketch, the title does go here. Um, I'm using that alpha, this uh, American Crafts glitter alpha that I've used a lot over the years and I've got no E's left and I don't think I've actually got any of the threes left now. These might be the last ones, I'm not sure. But I'm thinking I might have the title there like that. It's in a very similar place on the um, on the sketch. And then I've got these pieces here. I picked out this dream one. And this one says, take it easy and happy place. And I need to, and then this make today count. Um, when I was planning this beforehand, I hadn't put the title in place. What I could do is move the title over slightly because I do want to try and add in this little bit of stitching that I said I might do to join in with the uh, dotty wrap there prompt. So I could do the, I was thinking I could do maybe this here and then perhaps I might do just a little, what I was thinking of doing was just a couple of large stitches, kind of a bit like his cross legs, you know, when he's sleeping, because he does cross his legs quite a bit when he's sleeping or his legs cross over. So that's what I was thinking because, like I say, I'm not a se I don't se I definitely don't do machine sewing. I tried it once and it ended in sti um, tears, <laughs> stitches. It ended in tears uh, when I tried it on a layout one time. So I never tried it again. I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't particularly enjoy it anyway. So it's not something I enjoy doing. Um, but hand sewing, I, I don't mind a little bit of. I did think about doing faux stitching around the frame, but then I thought, well, I've got this, this, and I, I could just, you know, to match, kind of. In his blanket, he's got like a, it looks from it looks in, like he's got like a, a pattern like that. So I could do that, or well, like I say, I was thinking of doing the the cross the crossover stitch. Now then, I've got all I've got my pieces here, my dotty about flare pieces, and I thought I might try and fit a couple of those in. There's, in the sketch, there's an embellishment cluster here, and the title here with the journaling, and you know a, a little bit of embellishing. But I'm not sure that I'm going to do anything more here other than the bit of sewing that said I would do. So what I was thinking was maybe putting a, I could just put one piece there with the embellishment cluster and all my heart pieces that I've got here. I've got different, I basically went into my um, wood veneer hearts and just picked up a kind of one of each size that I had in there, so one of each design size, you know. And I thought I would put, I think there's two of the same ones, I would just scatter those about a little bit here for that, for that little cluster. So maybe something like this. I, I've also picked out my Heidi Swap Colour Shining Gold and my Dilusions Ink Spray in this brown. Um, in case I decide to do a little bit of splattering. I'm not, not sure about that yet, but uh, I might do that. This is the Maggie Holmes um, Glitter Heart. I've used those many times. I haven't got many of those left now. So I'm thinking I quite like this design as it like this. So let me see if I can, I didn't leave a gap for that, did I? So hopefully it'll stick fine. If I make a note of where the sticky bit is, I can make sure that I can perhaps Remove that little sequin there and perhaps put a foam pad there. Whoop. <laughs> I think something popped off there. I think we may have lost a sequin or two, but that's fine. <laughs> There's plenty more. I'm going to stick that on there and hope that glue works. Not had a lot of luck with adhesives lately, but this one really did the job for me on the Elvis uh, movie layout that I did. So. I'm going to use this one today because I thought I'd use this one for the uh, sequins anyway. Um, so yeah, um, I thought I'd just use it for everything. And this one, these are quite sticky actually. Usually when you get those down, you can't get them up again. So 
so you have to place them where you want them quite you know as soon as you place them down there. yeah so i've got this other flare piece here that i really do like but um yeah i'm not sure whether i can find a place for it now i like the idea actually of the um, one embellishment cluster here on this which is on the sketch and then just this section here i do like that idea i'm also thinking i could probably pop that extra heart there that i had in my hand i think i will yeah because it's you know maybe that one wanted to go on the layout <laughs> originally i was thinking i might i picked out three of everything you know um because i might have three little sections in places but uh yeah I'm, I'm liking sticking to the sketch on this occasion now then i have got these gold ones that i said before but i'm thinking i don't think i need them i like it just with the hearts and the sequins so let's see if we can get this down these are like i said these are from the vicky boot in uh, bandwood collection i've got lots of it still small pieces obviously the dream one stood out to me with him being asleep now then do you want to attach that to that or yes i think i will attach that this has got a slight perforated edge there where it came a, where i tore it away from the other two tags um and i quite liked that i didn't want to uh, take that away so yeah i think we'll do that and then we'll pop this piece on here and I, what i'll do is i'll probably just you know put test to sleep in or something it's not really uh, it's not a story as such it's just three separate photos of him sleeping these uh, alphas do not stick at all in fact although they're my favorite ones probably my most favorite ones ever they're also the worst ones ever for sticking like i've got several packets of them in a page protector or a pocket a4 pocket page that you'd put in like a office album an office file and there's so many just at the bottom of the packet <laughs> there's probably some ease lurking down there that i don't know about let me see this okay yeah so but i don't mind um using the three even though it's a slightly different uh, it's not really ideal because it's a it's not an evenly shaped e but um, um three but i you know I, it, this this is quite a quirky page isn't it so quite like that right i think i think i'm very happy with that there is a oh i haven't stuck those down there is a part of me that wants to fill the corner up there with something because <laughs> you know i do like where i fill corners and i do like a central layout and i also like a top left to bottom right layout which this sort of looks a little bit as though it could be made into that if i did another cluster up here but i'm not going to do that but I may have a quick look at what I've got in my fern wood and see if there's like just like a little tiniest piece that I might just put up there just to make it my own. Right, what I'm going to do is let all that dry, pop off and see if I can have a go with this stitching. I've got my pokey tool here and I've got my little uh, foam pad to make some a couple of holes and then I'll just do that stitching through there. Okay, so I couldn't help myself. I did go through my fern wood and I did pick out a couple of pieces um, to fill that corner there. It's not on the sketch, but um, it makes my heart happy. <laughs> so that's what I did. I also found a little gold uh, put, um, heart there that I just looked, I thought looked nice there. So I stuck that there. I had a go at doing the sewing with this twine, but um, I didn't have a needle with a big enough eye and i couldn't make it work so i just in the end i just used one thread from this ordinary embroidery thread and just stitched that one little um cross over there um i've not secured it on the back yet because this is still um, not not quite dry so um yeah i've uh, i've just left that as it is so um for now i will cover it i'll sort it out later once everything's dry so uh hmm i'm not sure what i'm going to write there yet uh Hmm, I don't know. I'll think about that. It'll just be something to do with Chester sleeping anyway. So, um, yeah, if you wanted to take part in 30 Days of Sketches by Christie's Beautiful Life, just hop on over to the Facebook group or Instagram, social media, look for the hashtag. I don't think I've done one before. I'm going to have a go at maybe doing some more. Um, I really, this deck sketch really called out to me, so I really 
thought I'd have a go at it. Um, so this is the one that's kicked me off, but I'm going to take a look at all the others and see which ones I might be able to manage as well. I don't know if I said that this sketch was Bella Boulevard um, for day nine. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's Bella Boulevard sketch. Um, so there's many different sketches by many different designers. Um, real variety. And I know some people are doing it every day. Some people are just maybe doing it once or twice. And some people perhaps will do more than that. So it's, uh, you know, it's whatever you uh, feel as though you can do. I was just looking at the layout and I decided that I want to add a couple of um, crossed staples on it just to kind of go with this sewing that I did there. I'm just going to do one here on this little um, piece that says Ticket to Anywhere, add one, and then a day like this. And then I'm going to add one here, just at the bottom of this little journaling piece. And then I also thought about the splatters. Um, I said I might do some splatters, didn't I? Um, yeah, I think I might, you know, do, do a little bit of gold, actually. And then um, just the little bit of writing, I need to add a... Uh, I don't think I'll add a date because they're just both random photos that I've taken. I think I've taken them all this year. But, um, yeah, I probably won't. I might. I'll have a look what the dates are and decide. Right, I'll just get this ready. Add a tiny little bit of... Um, just in the top corner, the bottom corner, I think. That looked like quite a large blob there. I should really have a protection on my table here, but uh, I'll wipe it away quickly. And then I'm just going to put a tiny little bit here in this corner. Hopefully it won't dry too. I didn't shake it too much, so hopefully it will dry properly without a ring around it. But. Uh, if it doesn't then that's my fault isn't it right okay I'm just going to put Chester sleeping there okay right I think we're finished so once again thanks for joining me take care stay safe and I shall see you next time